It's an epic sun shower this morning. We're here with the Thompson family and their buddies. I think Andy's one of my longest clients. I haven't scared him off yet. When was the first time I fished together? Uh, 11 years ago. 11 years we've been fishing together. From the B&M up to the overpriced broad-minded. Here we go. Birds are working, they're on my heat. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, he's on the mini, he's underneath the boat. Oh, nice one on the mini. Yeah! There you go. Oh, you got one on there too. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. More swimming up. There might be more fish here, guys. Might be a big school in my here this morning. Perfect, good job. Don't let this head out. Pull your tip down lower. Good job. Nice work. Yeah, just put like underneath it so you're not grabbing it. Like that, perfect. Ready? One, two, three. What's the weather update? Is it windy? A little bit. Storms are brewing. Swordfish aren't biting yet. And it's windy. Unless it rain. We hooked up. What? Rain. There's rain spots on the camera lens. We want this fish. It's like, it's like Commemorate 11 years of fishing together. Oh, oh, oh. Something. I don't think it's a swordfish, but something ate it. So that's good. Keep, if you got marlin, you come up jumping or anything. Keep your eyes open out there. Something ate the rod going down, 200 feet down. No telling what it is. Hopefully not a barracuda. Yeah, it was a thousand feet up, and it was probably down here at 300 feet when it ate it. They just it stopped it from going down. No telling what it is. No telling. <laughs> what do you think it is? Saltwater fish? Of course it is. <laughs> they said it ain't no fluke, it ain't no codfish. You got no idea what it is, but hopefully it's something cool. Ate the bait going down with a 10 pound lead on it, you know, fast tuna, falling. Tuna, 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 tuna. He was on top, but he's. Digging now, no telling. Oh boy. Tuna, 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 tuna. Big eye. It's not a fluke. Big eye. It's got some size to it, whatever it is. There ain't no 10 pound barracuda doing that. This could be something good, guys. This could be something big. This is what we want. Nice. So the fish is taking line now. No idea what it is. Could be anything. Now here in 1572 right there. Been a long day. We had two swordfish bites. It's kind of cheap. Seems small. We didn't hook them, but 417. Caught a few miles this morning, but nothing since. So it's been about eight hours since we caught anything. Maybe eight and a half. Oh, white marlin, white marlin, white marlin. White marlin. Get me a picture, Conrad, with my, with my phone, your phone, anything. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Look at that. That's so beautiful.
picture. Alright. Tag is in. White Marlin off Alamorado. A very unusual and rare catch. I've only caught a few here my whole life and seven years since the last one. That's awesome. Knuckles. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Right, That's pretty cool, huh? Right All right, we can call it a day, you guys. White marlin ate the swordfish bait going down cool. somewhere between them, 500,000 feet. And pretty rare. We don't see many of them. First one I've seen here in seven years. Caught myself, so we'll take it. Couple of mahis. Yeah, oh, jumper. You want, yeah, grab that one. Out of the way. Mai mai. Right in one shot like a ball. Oh, bad. Duck or bleed. Duck or bleed. Gotta go under Mr. Barossi. Alright, I gotta go under. There's a decent one on the mini rod. Mini rods got in a nice one. There you got a nice toys now, guys. Some of the bigger ones are showing up. Angry bull, angry bull. That's an angry one, a little bull mask, a little bull wrangler. Well, Alright, so we got a white marlin earlier, no storage. We got two cheap bites, couldn't keep them on. One came off. Oh, we got one of the mini rods. So this is our new mini rod. It is out now. It is up for sale. Yeah, wind them down there and we'll swing them in. And you kind of want to try to lead them to the gap. Like, you know, try to keep them coming steady so he's got a good gap shot. So he's not like, jumping around like crazy. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. You don't want to die. He yeah, ain't ready. You ain't ready to come home to Papa. No, if you don't want to be a fish taco. <laughs> That's our offshore mini rod. If you want to catch, you know, fish and have them fight good, you got to get one. It's fun. <laughs> it's a little stand rod right there. A little stand. There you go. It's beautiful. I don't know. This one don't break. Unbreakable? I don't know about that, but it don't break easily. Yeah, yeah. Oh, drilled them in the fin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice go. on the mini rod. get a sword but uh had a few mahi in the morning i think we caught about 15 or 18 more on the way home so save the day with some mahis here we go Black put on there, I get tangled up, we lost them. There's a tuna appetizer if you get them, Thompson. Yeah. We got a tuna to start, they're doing some jigging this morning. Thank you, Derek. Lost one there that broke off, got a little tangle, but uh, we got something big on now. Could be a shark, might eat our tuna, hard to say. Hoping for a big tuna, but if it's a shark, we probably won't get them up on a small rod. What we got here? Black bean. Oh, nice black bean. Screaming! Big boy! Big boy! Oh, oh squeaky! Now most of these tunes are footballs, but you never know when you're gonna hook a big one. This one here seems to be nicer. You know, it wouldn't surprise me to get a 10, 15 pounder on the jig. Be a nice blackfoot. Christian here? Yeah, thank you. Perfect. 
Beautiful. And that's a cushion right there, you guys, from Lunacy. Every boat should have some. Saves are growing. Put on a metal gimbal there, whether it's using a spin rod or conventional rod. Quick and easy. You don't have to put a rod belt on that way. It works pretty well. Oh, you let go of them. Keep them coming. Don't stop. Don't stop. We think a shark grabbed uh, Conrad's tuna fish, but it looks like he let it go, so hopefully we get him up here. Oh, man. Fifteen twenty pounder. Yeah, fifteen pounder, right there, no doubt. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Win some, you lose some. Oh, hold right there, hold right. It's a nice black one. Nice black one, guys. Yeah, oh, sucker. Sure. Look at that. Nice black fin right there, guys. Black fin of a lifetime. So a shark devoured his. I mean, there's nothing left but the head. You can throw that thing over. And these are actually nice black fins on the jigs. You know, that's 14, 15 pounder. A shark actually grabbed them there. You can see that, where we had them, right there. That might've been why we caught them too. The sharks slowed them down, but usually they eat them all the way in. A lot of sharks out here. I know there's shark shortages around the world, but they're in here, I promise you that. There you go, there's a black fin. Hang on there. Hang on there. Hang on there. So uh, Andy wanted to mix it up because I want the mini. He wanted a little stands rod. The Nick stick, it's out. It's out. Got one over here on the jig too. Now we're gonna go to swordfish. You can see it's rough out here, you know. Waves are breaking like crazy. Quite a few boats canceled today, but we're going for it. Good job. Bring him in. Hang on. Can one of you guys grab the tail of this thing? Lean over and grab the tail. Grab the tail. Don't look at that. You're gonna break the line. Okay, sorry. Just wrapped around his mouth. We never grabbed the tail. Good grab. Good grab. There you go. On the mini. On the mini. All wrapped up there. So the hook's not even in this fish, you guys. He's just wrapped up in the line, which is hard to believe. But that's what happened. Hard to believe that a guy with great skills can take in a fish without a hook. <laughs> All right, lay him down for a second. Try to untangle it. So there's no hook in this fish. Somehow he's just wrapped up in the line. Oh, 50 feet from the hook. Overrated. Hooks are overrated. Another one on there. All right, there you go. <laughs> Andy, good job. So that's hard to believe, but it was actually a double header tuna on the same rod, one on the hook, rod. on the mini rod. Show me that thing. This is a little Look at that thing. Right that's there. a little stand. There you go. We got it paired up with a conflict from Pan 2500, 15 pound braid. One tuna was on the hook and one was up the line 50 feet. Just wrapped up in the braid. Who would have thought? That takes experience. There you go. Good job, Thompson. Thank you. That's our tunas. Time to go try to find a sword. Day two. Mark is some bait. Rainstorm just passed through. We just hooked up 132 right now. We're trying to catch Laura. They got a nickname for this big swordfish. The old high school crush, I think. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Andy saw the bite. I didn't believe him. Yeah, there was a bite. Derek's on him. Got a lot of tuna this morning. You know, we got a white marlin a couple days ago and quite a few dolphin, but we really want to get a sword. Keeping our fingers crossed. We got some line out there. We got some line out there. Oh, yeah. We got some line out there. That's our stand swordfish rod. Got that one paired up with a Winthrop butt. The new uh, T10. So it's got 10 positions you can adjust it to. So, we got those up for sale now. See what happens here. Keep your eyes open. Go faster, go faster. This thing's getting near the surface, guys. Could be the big dog. This is a, this is a big fish. There ain't no little one doing this. This is the one we want. Big fish are racing up. No idea when you hook him, but he's flying up now, guys. There he is on top. There he is on top. Big fish, you guys. Big fish.
Fish came up glowing blue, electric blue there. Got a good look, at least 250, could be 300. Real fat, healthy, just not tired, but she's rising back up now. And hopefully gives us a shot. We want this fish. I've been fishing a lot of years, this fish. Right, Andy? You bet, a lot of years. This is a young guy who beat his brother by one pound. <laughs> yep, years ago, he had a 211 when he was, how old was he, like 10 or 12? He was 10. 10 years old, hand cranked like a 211 pounder. A couple years after that, Conrad got one that was 212 on hand crank. Fish went back down over 600 feet, but coming back to the surface now, taking us out deep, out to 1900. You can see right there. Come on, come on. Heartbreaker, pulled the hook. Hour and 40 minutes. Not the way that we wanted to end, but it happens. Good move, guys. Darn, he's so we're licking our wounds, that big sword that got away, but that's, that's fishing, you know, you don't catch them all, especially swordfish, a big one's tough to catch. Hook probably pulled out and foul hooked it, rehooked itself, and didn't stay in, but stopped up with some birds here and got some mahi on, so it ain't over till it's over. You saw that? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them back there. You eat me? Oh, we got him on the mini! Oh! The mini. Yeah. Tight, sucker! Wow, that was quick. I don't mind it. This hatch is gonna be open, you guys. Don't step in the hatch. Swing them in there, Connor. Still another. Skipjack tuna. Perfect. Now you're talking. Ready? One, two, three. I got you. You're good. In the cooler. What flavor we got? Yep. Good job. Nice. Here, hold that next to your brother for a quick picture. Oh, look at that jump. That was nice an one awesome there. jump. Nice gaffer bull there. Looks like 10, 12 pounder. Working our way in from sword fishing. Getting some mahis. Got some big skipjacks. Not happy. Oh, he's angry. Oh, right in the cojones. <laughs> 